Okay guys, we're ready to start testing. The heavy metal thruster. Uh, a little bit of iron. The heavy metal thruster is not moving due to internal arcing. Okay, um, everyone. Yeah, yeah. 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 You mean this one? No, no, the one we had before. Yeah, I'm going to have to. You're recording it for him. I don't know. Yeah, it wasn't. It's not working. Yeah. So that should be bolted off again. See the rocks back. Nothing. I'll bring it up until it flashes or starts to go. Yeah, see, now we just lost our vac our major vacuum because of the. Uh, Temporary off gas unit. 8.5 times 10 to the minus 7 tor. 1 point, 1 to the yep, we're about uh, 20 kV. 20 kV, and it's fully spinning. 20 kV. We have no visible current actually spin. flowing on the meter um, here. As far as the DC milliamp meter goes, there is no deflection of the needle. Alright. No, we just lost, uh, so we're over mode. We just lost, uh, when we bring the voltage back up, it does look like we went into an overload condition. Yep, it happened again. There we go. Now I can actually see DC current flowing. Ooh, there's a nice. Can turn off the flashlight, please? Sure. Tim, you it's, it'd be hard. Exposure. It's hard for us to see on our cameras, though, with the light yeah, off. Yes, you cannot see me. Tim, can you see? Mm -hmm. I'm just taking photos, though. I'm not doing video. But I can do video. Yeah, we really need the light on. Okay. I thought there'd be more of a plasma show. Oh, uh, well, negative. Well, there, there is, but we don't necessarily want to kill our vacuum. Wow, and minus if, we on, if we put on the big plasma show, we'll, we'll kill our on, vacuum. Kind of you can see the see, plasma there's, show. There's, there's, there's x rays right there that are. You know, you can see where they're pointing, right Ooh. there, where they're illuminating the glass. That's like an X-ray beam that's actually shooting out of okay, the. Okay, well, it's not. Let's not get shot with X-rays. <laughs> Interesting enough, it's spinning in the other direction, direction now. <laughs> Interesting, it's spinning in the opposite You're nice direction. Thick. Now. It's, it's, it's <laughs> You're not. It's yeah. Thin it's either. No, it's I'm mine. not. It is charging. Yeah, well, look, you know what's really well, interesting? You know, look, see, you, see the, you see how the X-ray beam though? It's following the um. Yeah, yeah, it's following the glass. It's not following the uh, conductor. So that's super interesting. Yes. I think we have the Geiger in the room. We. Yes. It's right yeah. behind you guys. You'll the Geiger. Okay. Is it? I bet Get you the Geiger counter. So. We're gonna go now. Can you turn off the light now? No. Quit talking about the x-rays because, we can't number see one, it. you're not accurate, and number two, I'm trying to record. Here. Okay. Thank you. I do really want to check this. For real? And it's, spin and it's spinning faster. Oh my goodness. It's spinning faster than So this. it's spinning... The uh, it's spinning towards the tube. What, what did you do? What, Alexander, what, what the did you small do? electrode towards the change? tube. No, we, we put in Charles' device and... Let's let it go for a bit. Does Charles know about this? Because it's flying. spinning up. Yeah. <laughs> well, he'll see the video. The pressure is yeah, we're going to take it out of there. That's why we're running it now. Seven. 10 to the minus 7 tour. So Charles nine. has a theory. He's not going to tell us about it. It's secret. He can't publish no. this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, Mark, what do you say? Send Charlie a message. Charles, it works. 
So this Fantastic is hard. Work, this Charles. is hard vacuum, then. Fantastic work, Good. What do you say? Yeah, hey, man, it works. It works. At minus seven. And how minus, many? How many kilovolts? At minus seven. Yeah, right now we're minus writing right about like, uh, seventeen point like five kilovolts. Seventeen point five kilovolts. That's the, that's the equivalent of the uh, yeah, International Space Station. Vacuum. The actual I mean, if we yeah. want, I guess. We... But it's going so fast, it's shaking just itself. So Jeremiah, why? What did you change since? Oh, uh, you should slow it down. Yeah, you yeah, better. Losing. I can see. I'm gonna throw it off there. I'm gonna shut it off now, so we can actually slow down. Did you guys notice the direction it's going? Yes, it reversed. And in atmosphere, it goes the opposite direction. Jesse Mitchell is gonna get another check. This is the same principle as mine, because the high voltage is being discharged to the glass. Yeah. And so it generates the force that way. So it's the same principle. Well, gentlemen, congratulations. It goes faster because it has less mass. So it's yeah. a less force generates a more uh, acceleration. Yes. I've got a question. Why, why didn't it work earlier today? Why is it working now? Because with because his device had too much. His setup had too much friction on it. Oh, so and also was it was discharging through his 3D print. No, but, but, but when he left it earlier, it didn't work. Why, why did it change between then and now? Well, well, we finally got down to the negative seven oh, on the yes. vacuum. It took an extra oh. two hours. So when it got the yeah. sensor didn't work, at seven it started working. Is that what yeah. And then the minus seven tour. Yeah. yeah. Well, let me just double check that. So Jeremiah, at, at minus six, no, 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 at minus seven. At, at minus six, we couldn't get the voltage up high enough without uh, having all kinds of arcs going on inside the chamber. Oh, she had to get it down to minus seven to get the Right, now we're just getting these these cold electron emission plasmas. So we're going to have to turn it back on, right? It's fine. Oh yeah, yeah, I can tell it's on. Oh look, every time it flies by, I can. I, I'm seeing minus two, minus three. They're about. Uh, scroll up by the copper. Like Not directly out. across from the copper. Do you from that blue glow? Okay. Do you get like a higher it's reading? A right. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It shoots up. Yeah, yeah. There's something happening there. What is that detecting? Okay, so that's five and a half. What? Can points. you come on further away from the glass and see what that meter picks up? So Come over here to me. Over right, so um, we can see those pulses actually taking yeah. place. So just take a look. Yeah, those are the ideal wave shapes that we want for a unidirectional scalar discharge in a longitudinal mode. Sawtooth waves. Right, exactly. What frequency are uh, approximately? Decay. What frequency? Uh, I don't like this. Uh, geez, I, I, I have to set it up with the area. I don't know. Fiber. Pinky. 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 This, uh, this power supply struggled to get past 10 when it was in air. In kilovolts? Yeah. Uh, or 10 mi uh, microamps, right? Okay. Yeah. 10. Okay, I'm going to stop that. Vacuum's still pretty high, though, right? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, vacuum hasn't changed. It fluctuated a little bit. It's, it's burnout. I don't think there's any spot unless you, you would have to. You'd have to squeeze in there. Just, I'm just recording yes. here, so you can yes. go over there if you want. Quickly, quickly, and just you can walk across. It's okay. So, but till now, from the that you are not seeing any motion. Is that it? In vacuum. I haven't looked at the video yet. Ah, okay. Uh, just by looking at it by eyesight, it's not like it's moved any noticeable, notice, noticeable amount. Yeah. And in the atmosphere, did you saw motion? Mm -hmm. No, no. I'll say okay. No, it's just that it's not. There's not enough radius. And, I, and I don't know about this magnetic suspension system. But yeah, the force is too small. I don't know. But it is bent. The ends are bent. This is too heavy for the ends. It is a lot of mass to move. It's a lot of yeah. inertia. Yeah. Yeah. So that's maybe a problem. Yes. Why do you use the, the tubes? Because if you can use uh, plastic tubes with uh, metallic paint, <laughs> or... Uh, the idea is to have a lot of mass there. But uh, it also hinders on the motion. Lots of inertia. Well, the, the thing is the inertia is supposed to become the fuel 
to get it to move. Ah, okay. So the more inertia something has, the inertia itself becomes the fuel to move something. I suppose, okay. <laughs> That's in practical terms. If it doesn't work, it increases inertia, yes. Overall, yeah. Uh, but it might it might work going with lighter materials and just taking more overall inertia off the whole thing. But if it's supposed to work with, with one mass, it should provide less efficiency with one mass according to that theory. Well, I, I think it's like a ratio. Mm. So if I have something that's 10 grams and it's, let's say it's 0.1% of that in terms of a thrust or if I have a, a 10 gram mass and 0.1% of that is going to be milligrams okay. that's that's how I see it working 